Hey guys, Sean Alexander, Apex Pressure Cleaning. I wanted to bring you a little video today about acrylic soft wash metering blocks. I've had a couple people lately, either in the comments of the videos or they'll actually just call the shop asking about these acrylic metering blocks. And the other day when I posted that video of me using my Apex Max Pro, uh, you, you would have noticed that I have an acrylic metering block uh, on my system. And I wanted to explain why. So when we order our metering valves, we get them overseas just like everybody else who's using precision flow metering valves. And our reps that sell these things to us they obviously try to upsell other products that they manufacture. And one of the products that they do manufacture is these acrylic metering blocks. So one of the last couple times I ordered valves, I said, yep, throw two of them in. I want to I evaluate. I want to look at them because I've seen things about them that I don't like. Now, with that being said, um, I know there are guys out there who are using these blocks and oddly enough really the only ones that I'm seeing using these blocks on uh, on Facebook or on the internet are selling you a kit to build your own proportioner using this block they sell you, they send you the the block and all of the um fittings the valves and the check valves the metering valves and the check valves to build your own and I do believe I know the reason to that. So when I bought these two blocks, it's this one and then the one that's in my trailer that you saw in that video, if you would have watched that last video, and maybe I'll link that video below. Um, when, when I bought these two, uh, again, I, I bought it from a, for a purpose of, of evaluation. Full disclosure, this block cost me $45 from the same company that builds the precision flow uh, metering valves. And again, I'm not saying anything bad about the, the metering valves. They're great valves. I think they're uh, you know, just the perfect valve for the money. Don't get my, my comment twisted there, okay? I said the perfect valve for the money. Um, so I wanted to evaluate these blocks. So I said, yeah, send me two of them. So I went to build my proportioner this spring with this block. As you can see, it's got some true blue here in it because uh, I started building it. And uh, the very first thing that happened was I put this cap, I put this cap in the, the, the end, okay? No problems, no issues. And then the second thing I usually install when I build these is the elbow. So it would have been actually this way, I'm sorry, but the elbow uh, to feed to the pump. And when I did that, I noticed some of the true blue started to come up through. And it's, let me see if I can get it focused there. You can see it coming up through the acrylic. It's right there. Let me get something else I can point this out with. I'll use this drill bit. You can see it's, it's right here there's some true blue right there. And that is because it is cracked. And if you look down through the bottom of it, you can see the crack right here. All right. So you can see that it's on that last set of threads on that block. Now I do not over tighten my stuff. When I build, um, sorry about my finger there. When I build my proportioners, they're always hand tight and I usually use tools only to line up my hexes because I have a little thing for that. I like to make sure that the hexes are lined up, but I don't know over tighten my stuff. Now, I don't want to throw out any names here because uh, I don't know these guys personally, but down in Florida, I do believe there is a company called Cigar City Softwash who also uses these precision flow metering valves. And I noticed on their website, and I believe you can go to Cigar's website, and again, shout out to Cigar City Softwash. I don't know you, but I think you're a fine company. Um, they have stopped using the acrylic blocks 
uh, that they've been getting from the makers of the precision flow valves. And it's because of the cracking issue and the failure of the company to stand behind it. Now, again, I ordered two. I'm able to take the $45 loss. I don't care. In fact, posting the video here, I will probably make up that $45 without any issues. If this was a good product that I didn't mind using, I would absolutely use it. But I don't feel, and again, you can see that crack living right there. I don't feel that it's a good product. And... I don't want to badmouth anybody who is currently selling these, but I just want to caution anybody who is going to buy a, quote, do-it-yourself kit using one of these acrylic blocks. Um, be very, very careful when you assemble your proportioners. Now, a rule of thumb that I like to use is whenever... I'm building a proportioner and I'm using plastic, otherwise known as polypropylene. I just call it plastic. I'm going to use those two terms synon uh, yeah, synonymously. So um, I use True Blue thread sealant on those. Anything that involves plastic. So if it's going plastic to plastic, I use True Blue. If it's plastic to metal, I use True Blue. However, let me come over here because I have some. If I'm going metal to metal, I will use tape, either Teflon tape or PTFE, whatever you want to use. So when it comes to metal to metal, um, you know, whether it's a, a, a pressure washing hose, like a fitting, quick neck, something like that, I always use Teflon or, or PTFE tape on that. Um, I think that's just personal preference. There are guys out there that will use, um, you know, tape to put together their proportioners. I think... Uh, if you were using a block such as our aluminum blocks here, I think you'd be all right. But that tape offers up a thickness that would make putting even these acrylic fittings together, I think, even more dangerous uh, and due to cracking. So just be careful with that. I understand that you can see through them. And to be honest with you, you can't really see through them. But uh, just know that the benefit of being able to see through it is uh, greatly uh, diminished when you can't even build the thing and get it to work because it cracks and the one i have out in the trailer for my apex max pro it had you know that one's worked fine i haven't had any issues with it but it has clouded up considerably using uh you know bleach and surfactant going through that you know the the acrylic the inside of it's clouded up so it's hard to see through it anymore anyway but uh so that I've been I've had this thing laying around for a minute. I've been trying to put together an acrylic block video. Um, this is one of our one inch blocks. These are uh, machined um, for me by a buddy of mine over at Mid Michigan Machine Works. He races cars and stuff with me, so he's a real good dude. And then I have them um, anodized locally as well. This is one of our half inch blocks. Um, you know, same thing, billet aluminum. Uh, anodized inside and out, as you can see, anodized inside and outside. I don't have one of our three quarter inch blocks at the moment, but so that's what we use. Full disclosure, I spend uh, just about $145 for each one of these one inch blocks. After the machining cost and the anod anodization, I think I'm up to about 60 on the half inch blocks and then the three quarters are somewhere in the middle. I think they're right around a hundred. Again, I spent $45 on this block and I'd never order another one. So let that just be a little bit of information um, on the acrylic uh, metering blocks. There are some guys out there using polypropylene blocks. I think those are probably going to be fine. Uh, no issues. I, I actually, the polypropylene blocks um, are probably good to go uh eat you know they uh to mount those you know we obviously have mounting holes in ours so you can mount the block to something uh i think that would be the way to go um either aluminum like ours or the polypropylene so these acrylic ones in my opinion i would say no uh i don't think they're worth the hassle um if you are going to save you know, 50 or $60 on a proportioner using an acrylic block over either aluminum or uh, poly. I'd say that that is uh, 
uh, money not well spent. So, all right, guys, uh, today's Friday. Have a good weekend. Hopefully business is going well for you, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next time.